Hey, this is Youth Vlog, and today we are playing with artificial intelligence. Mm. You know, a lot of people. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? X Files. X Files. <laughs> Aliens. ET. Oh, yeah, everything Sorry, that conjures artificial intelligence. Anyway, a lot of people are worried about AI taking over their job in the future, and we were worried about the same thing mm. as youth yeah. pastors, youth workers. Can an artificial intelligence be a better youth worker? Than a human being, and that's what we're here to find out today. Have you ever played with artificial intelligence before? I have played with it a lot. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah. That has made some stars. Absolutely not. No, not even once. No. So, if you've never played with ChatGPT before, it's a free online artificial intelligence chatbot. Um, not that I'm encouraging this, but it could definitely do some of your homework for you. So, this is ChatGPT, and the first thing I think we need to do mm -hmm. is to create um, a youth work. A fictional uh, youth worker. I'm just gonna pull our name out of the air. Fictional name. Fictional name. We'll call our youth worker Phil. 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 Great idea. Okay, so. Um, Where is that one called Phil? Phil yeah. is a youth worker at a church. What are some things that describe Phil? Um, this fictional Phil. Yeah. Is very energetic. I feel like he'd be the kind of guy that likes, you know, going to Cornwall in the summer, maybe. He, he likes, likes to, a, to tell a, people a he served. But actually, it's bodyboarding. Oh, he loves fish and chips. What are some of the qualities of the most incredible church youth worker? Loves Jesus. He loves risk assessments. He loves <laughs> risk assessments, but doesn't always follow through. <laughs> He's very spontaneous. Spontaneous! <laughs> What's a good test for a youth worker. Maybe we put Phil in some kind of scenario and see how he reacts. So what is the best possible like youth outing you could possibly think of? You know where I'd love to go. Where? You know at Jurassic Park? Jurassic Park. <laughs> Actual Jurassic Park. If that was a thing, I'd love to go there. Yeah, great. So Phil is taking a bunch of young people to Jurassic Park. Yeah. We're gonna ask the I the AI to write a story yeah. about Phil taking his youth group on a trip to Jurassic, Jurassic Park. All of the dinosaurs have escaped. Phil has to keep the young people safe. What happens next? Phil was thrilled when he found out his youth group was going on a trip to Jurassic Park. He's always been a fan of movies and could not wait to see the dinosaurs up close. Oh. He spent weeks planning the trip, creating a detailed risk assessment and preparing the young people for adventure. <laughs> On the day of the trip, Phil and the youth group arrived at the park early in the morning. They were greeted by a friendly park ranger who showed them around and explained the safety procedures. Phil was meticulously in his attention <laughs> to, to the safety protocols and he made sure that every young person understood the importance of following. He's a great youth worker. Great. Wow. As they walked through the park, the amazing creatures like the tri tri Triceratops, yes. Stegosaurus yes. and Velociraptor. Wow. Yes. The young people were in awe and Phil was thrilled to see their excitement. However, as they're walking through the dense forest, they heard a loud roar. This is very dramatic. Oh my goodness. Dun, dun, dun. Suddenly, the, the, ground, <laughs> the ground began to shake and the trees started to sway. <laughs> Phil knew what was happening before anyone else did. All the dinosaurs had escaped. What? He quickly gathered the young people and began to move them to a safe location. Wow. The group ran towards the park's main building, but they were chilled by ferocious T-Rex. Phil had to think quickly to keep the young people safe. He remembered the risk assessment no, no, no. he had for them and knew exactly what to do. <laughs> he directed the young people to the nearby shelter where they would be safe from the T-Rex attack. Phil then took out his phone and called the park ranger for help. The ranger informed him that they were working to contain the escaped dinosaurs but it would take time. In the meantime, Phil had to keep his young people calm and safe. Despite the chaos, Phil was surprisingly calm and focused. He kept young people entertained with games and stories, <laughs> the sheep story, <laughs> and, he, and he sure had had plenty of food and water. He knew what they uh, oh, he knew that they were scared, and he reassured them that everything would be okay. Finally, after several hours, the park rangers arrived, and they were able to contain the escaped dinosaurs. Feeling the youth group was safe, but they were shaken by the experience. Phil made sure that they were okay and thanked them for their cooperation during this crisis. As they left the park, Phil couldn't help but feel proud of the way he handled the situation. <laughs> he knew he had kept young people safe, and that was all that mattered. 
He also knew he had a lot to learn from this experience and he made a mental note to be even more thorough with his risk assessments in the future. Wow. wow. What a day. What a tale. I feel like that could actually happen. So that was fun, but we think Phil 1.0 was maybe a little bit sensible. A bit tame. Bit, bit very into his risk assessments, mm. which is a good thing, but um, <laughs> maybe not for the sake of this video. So we've invented a new Phil 2.0. So we've given Phil 2.0 a whole bunch of different skills and we need to put him in a new scenario. What happens next? As Phil spots Bruce attacking the boat, he quickly directs the young people to evacuate the area to a safe space. His adrenaline spikes and he instinctively activates his laser vision to shoot battle of energy beams on <laughs> Bruce to fend him off. Bruce retaliates with his sharp teeth aiming at Phil's head. However, Phil's quick reflexes and bravery allow him to dodge Bruce's attacks and land powerful punches on the shark's nose, causing him to back off momentarily. Phil uses his ability to turn invisible to confuse Bruce, <laughs> and he quickly manoeuvres himself to Bruce's back, grabbing onto his dorsal fin. Wow. Whoa. He then uses his disproportionate biceps <laughs> to lift himself up onto Bruce's back, where he begins punching Bruce's head and oh neck God. area repeatedly. The battle continues for several minutes, with Phil using his quick reflexes, laser vision and strength to keep Bruce at bay, while also ensuring the safety of the young Very people. important. Well done. <laughs> Eventually, he deals a powerful blow to Bruce's head, causing the shark to retreat back into the water. Phil emerges the water, adrenaline is still pumping, and checks on the young people, ensuring that they are safe and unharmed. The cruise is cut short, oh, but the young people have an experience they will never forget, and Phil is hailed a hero for his bravery and courage in the face of danger. Wow. wow. Well That's done, fictional Phil. Phil 2.0. <laughs> I wish he was my youth leader. <laughs> I think I think we can we can add stuff onto it. We can ask it for an alternate ending. End ending. Ending. Yes. Yeah. But Phil realizes not everyone that one of the young people is missing. Noah oh. <laughs> is missing. I think he fell out of the water, fell into the water, and turned into a shark. Me. Yeah. Okay. He fell in. Yeah, no, I like this. Okay. I want to be a shark as well. Oh. Yeah. So Phil heads back to the water with his bodyboard and his laminated risk assessment to either save or defeat Noah Good and news. Bruce. Yes. Wow. What happens? We need to cut Ned. <laughs> <laughs> Phil quickly assesses, assesses oh. the situation and realizes that Noah is now a shark due to some unexplainable phenomenon. He understands that Noah's safety is still paramount and he needs to get him out of harm's way. But at the same time, he also <laughs> needs to protect the other young people from the dangers that come with the presence of a oh. shark. <laughs> Phil quickly grabs his bodyboard and rushes towards the water, keeping the loud hatred of the attack. He dives in and spots Noah swimming alongside Bruce. Who seems to be guarding him. Oh. No. Bruce is guarding me, or me yeah. guarding Bruce. Bruce is guarding you. Phil realises that Bruce is not attacking Noah, but is protecting him. Ooh. Do you yeah, look like a Bruce shark at this guard. point? I think so. Phil knows that he has the skills and knowledge to protect both Noah and the other young people. He decides to create a diversion using his laser vision to create a bright light that distracts Bruce. <laughs> giving Phil the opportunity to grab Noah and swim to safety. Wow. As Phil approaches Noah, he notices that the young boy shark is distressed <laughs> and confused. <laughs> boy shark. <laughs> Phil quickly remembers the shark's sensitive senses and decides to communicate with Noah through a series of hand signals and body language. Noah, now understanding Phil's intentions, follows him as they swim away to safety. I'd love to know what the hand signals are. <laughs> <laughs> As they make their way back to the boat, Phil keeps an eye, close eye on Bruce. He seems to be following them. Phil knows that he needs to act fast to protect the young people and stop Bruce's aggression. He uses his laminated wrist to identify the safest spot to swim and waits for the right moment to strike. Phil, with his bodyboard, launches an attack towards Bruce using all his strength to take him by surprise. Bruce, caught off guard, is unable to defend himself and quickly retreats back into the water. With the danger averted, Phil and the young people make it back to the boat and Phil contacts the authorities to report the incident. He also makes sure to follow up with Noah. <laughs> so, boy shark Noah. Wow, it's um, quite hello. realistic. I've turned into a shark now. What's your review of uh, <laughs> Phil 2.0? I'm glad he saved me. Um, 
I, obviously I'm still a sharp, so he's not quite good enough for that, but, but um, at least I'm not with Bruce anymore. Right, <laughs> that's a good start. Are you going to be a boy sharp for the rest of your uh, life? I don't know. Stuck in Please this. don't be bad. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I hope you've learned a lot about artificial intelligence. I sure have. Um, in this video, you feel like... I'm educated now. You're more of an expanded. First person, first time using, how did you find it? Mind blown. Mind blown. It's incredible, isn't it? It is. Great. So, if you want to see, see us do more of this, <laughs> let us know in the comments. And um, maybe we'll create some more random film stories on artificial intelligence. Yeah. All fictional, of course. Definitely. Thanks so much for watching Kingsgate Youth on YouTube. Make sure you like the video, maybe leave us a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you can't get enough of Kingsgate Youth, why not follow us on Instagram and TikTok at kingsgate.youth. We'll catch you in the comments.